everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fifth and final video. We're going to have a look at weather that's 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 30th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. May run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us uh, into the middle of June. I'll get on that for you in a moment just to say... Uh, what we've uh, been doing so far today been a very, very busy day at Gals Weather So uh, we started off with 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, we've released weekend forecast and the ECM WF 42 day forecast. Uh, we started our charity event as well. So for the next week, we're going to be uh, raising money and awareness for Rainbow's Hospice. Uh, Rainbow's provide uh, vital care to uh, children and uh, young people with uh, life limiting and terminal conditions in the East Midlands uh, area. They're an incredible, amazing hospice, and uh, you know they do unbelievable work. And uh, we're raising as much money as we can for Rainbows. I'm on the Rainbows website uh, right now. Link to Rainbows is in the description with this video. Uh, so we're going to be doing a live stream uh, next Saturday, one week today, 27th of May. We will be doing a charity live stream for three hours from 6 until 9pm in the evening. It's going to be epic, 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 epic. And uh, anybody who wants to donate to Rainbows can do so during uh, that live stream, either via the Super Chat facility or from our Just Game page. But if you want to donate before the live stream, you can do so. We have launched our uh, Just Giving page. This is it. Again, the Link is in the description with this video. So, um, you know, whatever you uh, can, can pledge for, for Rainbows is, is greatly appreciated. And, uh, you know, it would be absolutely amazing if you can uh, give them a donation. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We've already got £65.12 of our target. Thank you so much for people who've donated so far. Couple of donations that I put through that were sent to me from Joe Weather and Paul Spain. Also donation from Tim Evra, Adam Turner and Therese. Thank you so much to uh, all of the uh, donators so far. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, if you want to give a donation to Rainbows, that's how you can do it. Either on the Just Giving page or on the night via the Just Giving page then or via the Super Chats within uh, the live streams and all uh, amounts will be passed on to Rainbow's Hospice and of course will be greatly, greatly appreciated both by myself and also for Rainbow's. I mean, thank you so much everybody for, for supporting this live stream. There is that little video so if you want to have a look at, at that and see a little bit more about rainbows and the work that they do and why we're raising this money as well and find out more about the live stream then then please check out that video right okay so uh the charity event has begun and uh, let's see how much we can raise for rainbows in memory of my lovely lovely mum mrs p who uh, we will have lost one year ago uh or one year on uh saturday 27th of may Thank you so much, everybody. Right, let's have a look at sensory and temperature. The MCT is currently sitting at 12.2, which is one degree above the 61 to 990 average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the uh, 19th of May. That will carry on rising now, I think, right way through to a month's end, probably. So I would imagine this could well finish up in the 13s in the end and turn out to be uh, a very warm May indeed. In line, though, with the gas weather, it's spring forecast. I reckon our spring forecast has done quite well, but uh, we will judge it at the end of the season. So I don't want to, you know, don't want to prejudge anything. But I think we've done all right with the spring forecast. Uh, anyway, moving on to the upper air temperatures. Uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. We're next couple of weeks. We're going to today, home of the Met. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter. We're starting up around average at the moment. We're going to find those upper air temperatures, you know, lifting up a little bit over the next few days. Although the upper air temperatures are around average at the moment, it's warmer than that due to the strength of the sun of course, at this time of the year. And the warming trend is still in evidence there, really, through the final week of May and into the, into the beginning of June. It looks as though we'll have those temperatures at least into the uh, low 20 Celsius, possibly even mid 20 Celsius by the time we get into the first week of June. And pretty dry as well. That's the other big story, I think. We are drying out after what's been 
quite a wet spring. So, the next week, 10 days, looking uh, very dry. There will be a little bits and showy bits pieces coming and going, but a lot of dry weather over the next 10 days. Maybe a bit more unsettled into the first week of June. But, of course, that is extended range. It's a long way off, and therefore, it is going to be unreliable. The trend is warm and dry through the rest of May and into the beginning of June. Temperature anomalies from the 20th of May, 28 coming out, a little bit above average of the north, still close to a little bit below down south, it's probably due to some quite chilly nights that we're still going to be getting over the uh, next uh, few nights. So although days have become warmer, we are still going to have a few cool or quite cold nights, especially from the central parts of England. So that will pull the overall temperature down a little bit, but by day it is going to be pleasantly warm, and precipitation anomalies from the 20th, 28th May, they're coming out drier than average as well. The latest wind map from Earth, no school dot net shows that high pressure is in control of the uh, weather ridging in from off the Atlantic, and that will be the case through most of the coming week. In fact, all of the coming week, check out weekend forecast for more. There is weather system, uh, weather front into the north and west. That will come south as you scot the north line, but will die a death. And as I say, the train through this week is high pressure be in control, which you see very nicely here with the latest UK event Euro run for midnight on Tuesday. High pressure which again from the Atlantic, bringing lots of dry weather. It will be a little bit cooler for Tuesday with winds coming in in slightly more of a north or northeast direction. But basically, we're set there throughout the week and into the bank holiday weekend. We get this, this gets us, I just bit my tongue, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this gets us up to uh, Saturday 27th, the day we're doing our charity live stream, of course. Um, and uh, you see that we've got a lovely ridge there still across the So even into the bank holiday weekend, could be lots of dry, fine and pretty warm weather. I can't again set fair on Tuesday, although a little bit cooler with a bit of a north feasty breeze. But basically high pressure dominates right way through to next weekend. Perhaps just a little bit more unsettled by Saturday for Scotland. But for England and Wales, Ireland still mostly dry and warm. And then the GFS midnight run again, or slightly cooler on Tuesday. But high pressure is the dominating factor throughout the week and into the weekend. A large area of high pressure sitting over top of the country bringing lots of dry Fine warm weather. These are absolutely classic charts that we're seeing here from May into the beginning of June as well. That high pressure is maintained, dominates the weather, being further mostly dry, fine, and pretty warm conditions. Maybe hints of a little bit of a cooler outbreak by the time we get through to the end of the GFS run, which today gets us to the 5th of June. Slightly more of a north, northeasterly breeze then, uh, and perhaps a few showers in the south and the east. But of course, that's a, that's a long way off of that kind of detail. The basic idea. It's high pressure dominating, bringing loads of dry and warm weather. GFS 6 ahead once more with that high pressure in control of weather throughout the next week. Loads of dry, fine conditions. Maybe just wobbling a little bit into the bank holiday weekend. Signs of slight weaker pressure could bring a few showers into the north. But then look at it, it's a high pressure of re-established shears. So looks as though high pressure is about to break down over the bank holiday weekend, but it does not. And then the high pressure sort of re-strengthens again, returning us back to mostly dry and potentially warm or very warm weather through the first week of June, high and dry. If you are enjoying the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We need to put on around 65, 66 subscribers to get ourselves to 15.9k. Please give us a sub. Thanks so much for doing that. And uh, make sure you check out uh, Rainbows and also now I'm just giving paid to find out uh, more about what we're doing in terms of this uh, amazing, amazing charity. Tell your friends and family about Rainbow's Hospice and, uh, you know, the incredible work that they do. Spread the word far and wide. They do incredible, incredible work. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, with that high pressure reaching into the country from off the Atlantic through the middle part of uh, next week. That high pressure dominating all the way up to uh, day 10. Back. The high pressure of anything becomes centrally located and more towards our east as we go up towards days 8, 9, 10. So if anything, that just turns things even warmer probably into the closing days of the month. Very dry as well. And then the ECM rounding it all off. Or should I say rounding it all off. Um, I can't roll my R's with high pressure. Once again, in the ascendancy throughout the next week, maybe just weakening pressure a little bit for the north into the back of the weekend. Slight more showery bend. England Wales still mostly dry with high pressure. Retrenching, if anything, by day 10 over and to the east of the country. There's not much to say about these charts, which is why I'm going through them very quickly, because, you know, they're just absolutely classic for lots of dry and warm weather through the rest of May. 
Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetshow.com. Showering for Scotland to Northern Ireland today, mostly dry for England and Wales. Tomorrow looks mostly dry as well. And these dry conditions then carry on right the way through next week. Just some showy rains in the north as we get into uh, the bank holiday weekend. Not much of that making it down to the south. Remember, trade is back to dry, dry weather again by day 10 as the high pressure re-strengthens. These are the options of the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office, it gets us to the 30th of May. 30 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure reaching from the Atlantic into Western and also Northern Europe. Low pressure is up towards Greenland and Iceland. That looks mostly dry and fine. And then 21 with even stronger high pressure over and to the east of the country. So this is like a ridge, but this is an area of high pressure block that's sitting over and to the east of the country that we bring in dry and warm weather from the east. And then in two week time, this is the option map we've got. It gets us to the 4th of June. And uh, look at this, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, ensembles even, with a large blocking area of high pressure dominating weather with lots of dry and warm conditions into early June. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and on break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 20th, 26th of May. The coming week will be dominated by high pressure from the Atlantic into northern and also western Europe, mostly dry, fine and warm. Week 2 will be the 27th of May to 2nd of June. Big blocking area of high pressure sitting over into the north coach winds coming in from a warm easterly direction, mostly dry and warm with that. Week three <laughs> is going to be the third to the ninth of June. Large area of high pressure still dominating in loads of dry, fine and warm weather. Week four, maybe just signs of a bit of a change. This is a tenth to the 16th of June. High pressure possibly heading more towards uh, Greenland, Iceland and the North Atlantic. Lower pressure across uh, Northern Europe, we may be a little bit more from an east or a northeast direction. Possibly just a bit of a hint of a break down there as we're going up towards the middle of June, from the second week of June. But of course, that's four weeks away. It's a long way off and therefore is uh, is not to be taken overly seriously. The, wet, the weather outlook for the rest of May and into June is set there. Lots of dry, fine and warm weather. If it's what you've been waiting for during this spring, which has been a little bit of a slog, if it's what you've been waiting for, then enjoy. OK, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, for giving that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies. Thank you so much for doing that. Make sure you check out Rainbows to see the incredible work that they do, providing vital care for uh, children and also young people with uh, life-limiting and terminal conditions. And have a look at our Just Giving page as well. And you can leave a donation there if you would like to do so. I mean, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. And particularly, we're not important, but particularly for rainbows. Thank you so much. Right, OK, I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We're going to start off with the uh, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will have the 11th and final summer update. It's going to be a QBO special that will be coming up for you um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. And there'll be a change of 14 day for you as well tomorrow. Please keep checking uh, back to the channel for more. And uh, for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.